Army leaders gathered at Fort Benning to catch a glimpse into the possible future of medium caliber weapon systems, as the XM813 demonstrated increased lethality on the battlefield. The primary game changer here is the, is the accuracy of the fire control system, and it allows you to kill targets with shorter bursts with more stowed kills. It additionally provides an air burst capability uh, that allows us to engage targets in defilade, targets in the open, uh, and have more target effect and less suppressive effect. So you actually get kills against those targets that currently we would be doing suppression against. Intended to replace the current 25 millimeter M242, the XM813 features a medium caliber 30 millimeter weapon system developed by Arctic in a Konigsberg turret mounted on a Bradley chassis firing linkless ammunition. We have endorsements signed by General McMasters and uh, General Walker to move this forward as a 30 millimeter solution for the Army for medium caliber. And I think the sooner we get the soldiers in here to provide that feedback to the developer, the sooner we'll see those solutions that the soldiers feel are necessary to make the, the system more user friendly and more accurate in the field. Thanks to the improvements to the barrel and recoil system by Ardec, developers have seen a decrease in rounds required to defeat targets. And with only two to three minutes of training, soldiers were able to successfully put rounds down range. Now, I fired off uh, uh, several uh, bursts off the weapon. What I was impressed by is the uh, simplicity of use of the fire control system and the ease with which I was able to be taught within the span of probably about five minutes to uh, upload ammunition uh, into the feeder and as well as put rounds on target at about 1,500 meters uh, with very little instruction and just using my background and similarities between fire control systems and different combat vehicles. Staff Sergeant Stone believes the XM813 could improve the vehicle's capability to provide a better fire support role for the dismounted infantry, aiding in maneuverability and survivability. As a tanker, uh, we're always one shot, one kill, and anything that can get our infantry brethren, you know, closer to that and be able to allow them to, you know, have that one shot, one kill mentality or put minimum rounds uh, achieved for target effect onto the uh, target area is going to be something that's going to be a plus for everybody. Although this demonstration features the XM813 on a Bradley fighting vehicle, the potential exists for this system to be mounted on other combat vehicles as well. Melissa Bell, Fort Benning TV.